Hey, back again. No Japanese tools this time. Well, maybe later. Uh, but this one is made in the USA. And uh, this is a tool that I want to showcase because uh, I've, been, I've been meaning to get one of these for several years since I first saw one. Um, and what this is, is a hex wrench, adjustable hex wrench. So this is filling in for, um, you know, adjustable wrenches and things like that for large, uh, large fittings. So really cool design, offset head here. And uh, you can see it's sort of in the style of a pipe wrench, but with smooth flats, so you're not going to be marring up your your uh, fittings, and very narrow jaw, really a neat looking tool, uh, not too big, uh, pretty compact, pretty thin, you know, but huge, huge capacity. So let's take a look at this. This is the Rigid E-110. This is made made by Rigid, the Ridge Tool Company, Elyria, Ohio, USA. I don't have a lot of USA stuff on my channel, mostly Japanese, but America does make some excellent, excellent things. And uh, do not limit yourself on one country of origin. A lot of countries out there make excellent items. So it is Rigid, the Ridge Tool Company. Look at that ridge right on the back. Come on now. I'm used to my beautiful, you know, beautifully finished Nepros chrome items and things like that. <laughs> this doesn't really compare with that. So uh, this is like $35 USD. Um, so pretty affordable for what it is. Uh, super, super handy. I'm really excited to put this into use. Let's see how long this is. So we're looking at about 11 inches, 280 millimeter. Um, so fairly compact, but it's that opening. So it does have a minimum size. You can see it bottoms out there, the jaw bottoms out. But you can still fit on, on nuts and fasteners. So you can see that it's thin enough. You can use this on, on bolts and nuts as well. It's not just plumbing fittings and hydraulic fittings and things like that. It's uh, other hardware. That's about as uh, small as you could go right there. But the beauty of it is the that huge capacity. So if you're working in, if you guys work in uh, uh, with hydraulics or an industrial environment or with pipes and fittings, and uh, you're going to want to get one of these. Um, like I said, I've been wanting one for several years, and I, I'm, <laughs> I don't know why I waited so long, but look at that thin, thin jaw. You can get on that fastener, or on that, uh, that fitting, rather, and it's a smooth jaw. It's not marring it all up. With a pipe wrench, you know, be destroying this sucker. Uh, it's not the tool for the job for these hex fittings, but this tool is the tool for the job. So that's, you know, that's a pretty pretty sizable fitting there. Here's one that's even bigger, this big honking one. So, you know, beautifully fits on there. Three-sided contact with these flat, smooth jaws. Really awesome. Relieved corners there. So if you have to, you know, deal with some, some big fittings, this is going to be this is going to be great. You know, I love the compact nature of it looking at it here. Um, man, I should have got this sooner, honestly. Uh, especially, you know, the brass fittings and, and things like that. Uh, and if you use the pipe wrench on this, it's going to mar it up, you know, something terrible. So um, this thing's awesome. Well, let's see what the actual max capacity is for the Rigid E-110. Uh, only ruler I got here is metric. The ruler says, I'm going to get on the last thread here. Right about there. So about 70, 70 millimeter. So that's awesome. 
That's huge. So we're looking at about uh, two and three quarter inches. So massive capacity for hex fasteners and fittings. Um, you know, if I wanted to get on a, a fitting like this uh, without tearing it up with a pipe wrench, you know, I wanted to get an adjustable wrench or something. Um, you know, my little vintage 150 millimeter Igo, made in Japan, of course. Oh, that's not gonna work. So I can't use my little Igo. Well, maybe I could use my 200 millimeter Igo, made in Japan, of course. No, that's not gonna work either. What about the 250 millimeter vintage Igo, made in Japan? Oh, that's not gonna work. Maybe a nice big 300 millimeter vintage Igo. Barely use this one. This one's a beaut. Uh, made in Japan, of course. Uh, that one's not gonna work either. All right, let's try this one. 450 millimeter Igo, vintage, made in Japan. Big honking sucker. Let's see if this one fits. Okay, so this one does fit. The big giant one fits. Uh, but look how thick it is, you know? Very thick jaw, weighs a ton. Huge honking tool. While this sucker, very thin in the jaw. Very light in the hand. A lot less mass there. And, yeah, that's max capacity. This has a bigger capacity, by far. Um, and you know you throw, I don't know if I can recommend it, but I'm going to use it this way. Throw a pipe on there and really get some, some good leverage. So, this thing's awesome. I mean, I'm really kicking myself for not getting one of these sooner. Um, cool looking tool. Awesome tool. Um, I'm sure it's going to last. It's just, you know, it's cast. Um, cast iron and then a forged jaw so I'm going to put this into use right away I'm going to start using it tomorrow um, and that's the rigid offset hex wrench for large fittings and large hex fasteners definitely pick yourself up one you know it's like 35 bucks I think I said uh, just to showcase these a little bit these are my vintage Igos unfortunately I go is out of business after, um, I don't know, like 80 years or so, 90 years, something like that, um, making tools in Japan. They went out of business in uh, about 10 years ago. So these are all vintage examples. Um, I don't know how old they are, but uh, I actually have one more. I have a 100 millimeter as well, real small one. And uh, if you see, if you see a 600 millimeter, because I know they made one, let me know, because I, I would like it. Uh, that's my little Igo collection, just to cram in some Japanese tools. Um, these are great tools. I, you know, you can't go wrong with uh, with the J, the big old iron here. <laughs> but um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that you can use for the flat-on-flat -flat kind of contact areas. I love the the Knipex pliers wrenches. Um, so that's max capacity. I can't even squeeze that, and it's that's awkward to use. That's a 180 millimeter version. Um, so these you can get these in you know huge ones, um, but uh, you know. The economics of these go way up. You know, the really big ones are like, I don't know, um, 80 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that. Maybe a little more. This thing is 35 bucks. Bigger capacity, you know, low tech, no fancy cam action, but throw a pipe on there, bunch of leverage. So that's been it for, for today. That's the Rigid E 110. Offset hex pipe, hex wrench, not pipe wrench. And uh, we'll see you next time, probably with some more Japanese tools. Uh, maybe some more Igo that I found. New old stock, maybe? Maybe. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.